वेलकम टू मिनतीस एजुकेशन फॉर सी एस आया एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट सेट जे आर एफ गेट जाम आई आई टी जावेद वर्स स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन फॉर इलेक्टेड पोस्ट इन पंचायत द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया इन द केस ऑफ जावेद वर्स स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा टू थाउजेंड एंड थ्री अपहेल द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनैलिटी ऑफ अ प्रोविजन इन द हरियाणा पंचायती राज एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फोर विच डिस्कालीफाइड पर्सनस विद मोर दैन टू लिविंग चिल्ड्रेन फ्रॉम कॉन्टेस्टिंग पंचायत इलेक्शंस द कोर्ट हेल्ड दैट द क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन वॉज रीजनेबल एंड वॉज नॉट वायोलेटिव ऑफ आर्टिकल्स फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया द कोर्ट रीजन दैट द क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज बेस्ड ऑन एन इंटेलिजिबल डिफ्रेंशिया नेमली द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन विच वॉज क्लियरली डिस्टिंगविशेबल फ्रॉम द नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन द कोर्ट ऑल्सो हेल्ड दैट द क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज बेस्ड ऑन अ लेजिटिमेट स्टेट ऑब्जेक्टिव नेमली टू पॉप्युलराइज द फैमिली वेलफेयर फैमिली प्लानिंग प्रोग्राम द कोर्ट फर्दर हेल्ड दैट द क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज नॉट आर्बिट्रेरी और डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी द कोर्ट्स डिसीजन इन जावेद वर्स स्टेट ऑफ हरियाणा हैज बीन क्रिटिसाइज बाय सम फॉर बींग वायोलेटिव ऑफ द फंडामेंटल राइट टू इक्वालिटी एंड द राइट टू कॉन्टेस्ट इलेक्शंस हाउ The court's decision has also been defended by some who argue that it is a necessary measure to control population growth. The following are some of the arguments in favor of and against classifications based on the number of children for elected posts in panchayats. Arguments in favor. Population control is a major challenge facing India. Classifications based on the number of children can help to promote family planning and reduce population growth. Such classifications can also help to ensure that elected representatives are committed to population control. Arguments against classifications based on the number of children are discriminatory and violate the fundamental right to equality. Such classifications can also lead to the disqualification of otherwise qualified candidates from contesting elections. There is no evidence to suggest that such classifications are effective in promoting family planning and reducing population growth. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to allow classifications based on the number of children for elected posts in panchayats is a complex one that must be made on a case by case basis. taking into account all of the relevant factors food corporation of india versus bhartiya khadya nigam karmachari sangh to extra increments to the existing employees on earning higher qualification the case of food corporation of india versus bhartiya khadya nigam karmachari sangh concerned the grant of two extra increments to employees who earned a higher qualification while in service the food corporation of india fci had a policy of granting to extra increments to employees who did not possess a degree in engineering before joining the service but who subsequently earned such a degree the bhartiya khadya nigam karmachari sangh bkns a union of fci employees challenged this policy arguing that it was discriminatory against employees who already had an engineering degree when they joined the service The Delhi High Court held that the FCI's policy was discriminatory and violated Article 14 of the Constitution of India, which guarantees equality before the law. The court held that the FCI could not justify the discrimination on the ground that it was necessary to encourage employees to improve their qualifications. The court directed the FCI to withdraw the policy. and to grant to extra increments to all employees who had earned an engineering degree regardless of whether they had the degree when they joined the service the fci appealed the decision of the delhi high court to the supreme court of india the supreme court upheld the decision of the high court holding that the fci's policy was discriminatory and violated article 14 of the constitution The Supreme Court held that the FCI could not justify the discrimination on the ground that it was necessary to encourage employees to improve their qualifications. The court directed the FCI to grant to extra increments to all employees who had earned an engineering degree 
regardless of whether they had the degree when they joined the service. The Supreme Court's decision in this case is an important victory for employees' rights. It establishes that employers cannot discriminate against employees on the basis of their qualifications, even if the discrimination is purportedly justified on the grounds of encouraging employees to improve their skills. Murli S. Deora vs. Union of India Ban on Smoking at Public Places The Supreme Court held that smoking in public places deprives the right to life of the passive smokers. Upon realizing the gravity of the situation and considering the adverse effect of smoking on smokers and passive smokers, the Supreme Court directed and prohibited smoking in public places. S.R. Chaudhuri vs. State of Punjab non-member cannot be reappointed as minister if he fails to get elected within six months. Yes, that is a correct summary of the Supreme Court of India's decision in S.R. Chaudhuri vs. State of Punjab. In this case, the Supreme Court held that a person who is not a member of the legislature cannot be reappointed as a minister if he fails to get elected to the legislature within a period of six consecutive months of his first appointment. The Supreme Court reasoned that Article 164 4 of the Constitution of India, which allows the governor to appoint a non-member of the legislature as a minister for a period of six consecutive months, is intended to provide a short-term solution to situations where there is a need to induct a specialist or expert into the cabinet. However, if the non-member minister fails to get elected to the legislature within six months, then he ceases to be a minister and cannot be reappointed until he is elected. The Supreme Court also held that the reappointment of a non-member minister who has failed to get elected to the legislature within six months is a violation of the principle of representative democracy. The Constitution of India envisages that the ministers should be accountable to the legislature, and this accountability can only be ensured if the ministers are elected members of the legislature. The Supreme Court's decision in S.R. Chaudhuri vs. State of Punjab is an important landmark in the development of constitutional law in India. It reaffirms the principle of representative democracy and ensures that the ministers are accountable to the people. Thanks for watching. Visit again.